Hi everyone, welcome to a, another unboxing. Today is another Atelier unboxing. It's been a while, but it's starting to become like Christmas. We're getting an Atelier game at least once a year. At least that's how it's felt. And this Atelier game is Atelier Riser 2, sequel to Atelier Riser, Riser, which came out last year. I don't think I unboxed that one. I don't think it, um, I had the time to do it but today I do have the time I do have the means so let's do a proper unboxing we're actually going to take it out of the box it came in which we haven't done anything like that for a little while so I've got my pen knife just trying to figure out which bits need slicing ah there we go oh my word oh goodness it's huge All right so let's put that down there get the bubble wrap off okay so let's just uh, do a little bit of housekeeping here so this is the premium box um, and I'm starting to understand why it's called that it's it's huge it's like the size of a, of a textbook so a little bit of backstory I have pretty much every single limited edition special box for all the Atelier games that have been on the PS4 in the past, those have been released by NIS America or Nippon Itchy Software America, and I've purchased those through the European store. However, this year, Koei Tecmo have decided to release it themselves through their own European store, and I thought that they were going to be similar, but they're not. So you can tell that this has been put together by a different team of merchandisers. And I'm a bit gutted because this is now completely and utterly different to all the other ones that I have. So, so far, I'm just taken back by the shape and size of it. However, if my previous experiences shopping online have taught me anything, I think this is a bit more similar to the Japanese ones. So, way, way back in the past, all the Atelier games on the PS3 had special versions in Japan only, and they were premium boxes and they were very similar shape to this i think i'm can, i can only go by the images i've seen on play asia so i think they've tried to recreate or they've tried to make it more um, uniform with the japanese premium boxes unfortunately it just means that they're not very uniform with the existing european limited editions oh well um let's just get the plastic off and see what we're dealing with so let's actually take a little bit of time to examine the box. So it's kind of like a fold out box. So you can see here, this is where it's gonna open up. It's probably gonna open up like that, like a book. But you've got Riza on the front there with her alchemy staff. And um, I'm pretty sure that's it's very similar to her costume in the first game. So I'm just trying to work out if they've slightly altered her costume for this game or if it's the same as the previous. But either way, she, she's very cute and then you've got the logo and all that on the side on the back it tells you what's actually inside but we're going to take a look anyway but just for kind of clarity so let's just see if it opens up how i think it's going to yes there we go so this is very, like I say, this is very different to what I'm used to. So I don't know how I feel about that just yet. Naturally, we have got a copy of the game, which has a PS5 upgrade. So I might have to play this on my PS5, maybe. We'll have a little look inside the box in a moment. We also have two download codes here. So we have a download code for a puny costume. So for anyone who doesn't know, punies are like, uh, they're kind of like the slimes, you know, like Dragon Quest slimes, but they are the Atelier uh, version of, they're, they are enemies that have frequented the series um, and you can even use them in your alchemy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, puny, yeah, they drop puny balls. So you can use their 
drops for alchemy as well. So we've got a code for a costume there. And then we've got a code for another costume, which is the Sonnet of Dawn costume. Mm, cool. So we've got two codes, two costumes. Let's just quickly peek inside the box in case there's another code. No, no code, just limited warranties. But whilst we're here, we'll have a peek on the inside. It's got some really nice inside artwork. Not all games bother with pretty artwork for the inside of the games, but I always appreciate it when they do. There we go. So next to the game, we have got a keychain. There we go. I'm pretty sure we had a keychain with the previous one. So that means I've now got two riser keychains, I think. Now, we're going to lift up this uh, thing, see what's underneath. Ooh! So we've got, wow. Oh, what is it? Is this, is this a double sided poster? So we've got that there. Ooh! Oh, this is interesting. So, oh, so they're files. So they're like, so you can see that it's um, wow. Okay, little file sets for my paperwork. That's really random. That's a very peculiar thing to include. So let's just take one out because between you and me, I'm a naturally oily hand person. Like it doesn't matter how many times I wash my hands, I leave fingerprints everywhere I could never be a criminal so I don't want to get fingerprints all over the pair of them Ooh, okay and then you just put your document inside okay that's really random like that's not that's not a normal thing to include in a in a special edition of a game not unless it's like Oh, there's got to be more to it. There's got to be some sort of link between this and the game. There's got to be something. But that to me looks like a map. Like that or something. That looks like it's gonna... That's gonna bode well with me trying to figure something out in the game. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's not something I'll ever use and it's not something I'll ever put on display either. So I'm not too sure what's inspired them to do that. How peculiar. Oh well. Next we have... Ooh, a really nice print. Oh gosh. It's a good job my channel's not monetized because I think this would get me demonetized. But a very raunchy shot of riser there. I mean, it's very pretty. <laughs> it's really well drawn. Maybe just a shade unnecessary, but Ooh, this one's pretty too. Okay, this I like this one because I just I'm a sucker for pretty, pretty dresses. How cute is that? Oh, that is not being funny. That is way nicer. As far as red dresses in video games go, that is way nicer than Aerith's dress in the Final Fantasy VII remake. Sorry. And the cake looks yummy. Like, does anime food just looks so scrummy. Cool. They're nice. Now, those I probably will frame. When my little room is ready, which I'm in the middle of decorating, that's the sort of thing that I want to put in frames and hang up around my, my little room. Of course, an atelier game would not be complete without a cloth poster um it's gonna be a struggle for me to show it to you guys in fact can i just cheat because i know what in fact let's just um comment on the quality of the material so. Ooh. Mm. okay it's Ooh, it's weird so Previous posters have been very like silky, um, like, like satiny, you know, that kind of really sheer, shiny kind of material that you print on. This is a lot rougher. As you can see, no shine, no shimmer, very rough. Um, I'm sure there's a reason for that. It's probably just a cheaper material to print onto. I don't know. But I'm going to show you what the image is because it's the same image on the next item. How big is it? I'm really reluctant to get it out in case I can't fold it back up and put it in. 
but if it's that, that. So we're looking at about this big. And I think lengthwise, you're probably looking at around that length. You've seen me try to hold posters up before. It doesn't go down very well. So the next item is, well actually it's the final item now. It's the final item. An art book. So as you can see, this is clearly the same image from the poster. So that's what you're going to get. And that's actually really cute. That's, oh, that's so cute. Oh yeah, I like that. And investigation. Oh, so is it more like a journal? Is it like her journal in the game? Ooh, so how many pages is it? Ooh. Oh, it's all in Japanese, unfortunately. So this, so this kind of further solidifies my theory that this is the same premium box that the Japanese have got. So we've got like character dossiers. So cute. So far, it's all character dossiers. Ooh, some environmental stuff now. Mm. Oh, so these are so pretty. Some really pretty backgrounds. Oh, oh, you see this guys, you see this? I reckon, oh, maybe I have to use that file for that. Oh, weird. I could be wrong, but maybe I'm just assuming. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to piece that puzzle together. There you go. So quite a small art book compared to what we've seen in the past, but it's a nice size so you can actually get a good feel for the images that's inside. Good quality, you know, really nice hard matte quality there. Okay, cool. So that was everything inside the box. We had the game, the little, so Tao's research notebook, that's what it was, research notebook, um, which they put in brackets art book in Japanese. Special clear file set of two. Um, the original, an original illustration B2 cloth alley. So it's size B2. I haven't, I mean, I haven't used paper sizes in quite some time, but B2 is pretty damn big. And then we have the mini acrylic ch character charm. One thing you'll notice that is not on here or inside of this is a soundtrack. The previous game didn't have a soundtrack either. The frustrating part there was they were going to put a CD in because it still has the gap inside the box, but they decided at the last minute, no, we're going to remove the soundtrack, we're not going to include a CD. And then they put both this game, well now, they've put Atelier Riza 1 and Atelier Riza 2 on Spotify. So it doesn't really matter which membership you have for Spotify, be that premium or the free one, you can, so effectively you can listen to the soundtracks for these games for free. The only downside to that is I can't use it. I can't, not unless there is a way of ripping it and using it in videos, but I don't want to do anything that you're not supposed to. As whereas with the soundtracks I used to get in the past, I could put it onto my computer and I could use it, the music in these videos. So I'm a bit sad that I can't do that, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Overall, it's a really nice quality box and the items inside are a really nice quality too, but I'm a bit taken back by the size. I'm not really sure how I feel about these going forward because now it's going to be, uh, it's they're not going to be, they're all different basically, they're not the same. So I've now got a riser box which is short and fat, riser two which is tall and thin and it's assuming they do a third, it's probably going to be the same as this. But we'll see. Yeah, so that was everything inside the Atelier Riser 2 Premium box. If you've got thoughts or questions, leave them below. Um, check the description box. I always put more information in there as well. But yes, thank you very much for watching once again. And I will probably see you all again very soon. Bye. <laughs>